Czechoslovak Genealogical Society International, or CGSI, maintains a research collection located in the Minnesota Genealogy Center, located just outside of Minneapolis and St. Paul. This research collection has been curated over the past several decades to provide genealogy resources for our thousands of members across the United States and several other countries. The geographic diversity of our membership and the restrictions for in-person visits necessitated creating ways in which these valuable resources can be made more accessible to our members, anytime and anywhere. The CGSI Research Collection contains over 2,000 items focused on Czech and Slovak genealogy, history, and culture. This includes family and village histories, census data, language aids, maps, and more. We offer a traveling library at our biennial conferences, but we can only transport a few dozen items. And of course, not all members can attend our conferences. With a geographically diverse membership, the challenge is to make the resource materials in our library as accessible as possible. This goal became even more vital last year with travel restrictions and limitations on library hours. In 2020, we completely redesigned our society website, and a major goal of this work was to increase the quantity and quality of digitally available resources. These resources include family histories, historical and contemporary maps, audio and video recordings of presentations from past society events, and all past issues of the Society's valued quarterly journal, spanning more than 30 years. For several years, CGSI has been simulcasting live presentations as online webinars, and whenever possible, request permission to post these recordings for all members to access at their convenience. These recordings have the dual benefit of preserving information and allowing participation from members who would not otherwise be able to attend. Recording and posting presentations increased member satisfaction to a point that it became disappointing when a presentation wasn't available on demand. So how did CGSI leverage the success of these early presentation recordings? Our volunteers started to look for more content that could be made easily available to all. CGSI's digitization project created an opportunity to examine what materials we could digitize to share and provide the most value to the most members. This involves a combination of items our society owns, items we could get permission from the author to share, and items out of copyright. Items deemed OK to post were then scanned and tagged. Tagging allows for organizing like items when searching, such as by item type, subject, year, and publisher. CGSI strives to offer resources for various ethnicities and, when appropriate, tags were added for those as well. In the fall of 2020, we launched the CGSI Digital Library. Access to this resource is limited to members who must be logged into the Society's website. The Digital Library allows members to filter by a subject, type or format, ethnicity, or region. These filters pull from the tags assigned to each item. Incorporating an ethnicity tag and filter provides an opportunity to focus on groups that our society serves. One successful category has been the digitization of family histories. Over the years, several hundred family histories have been donated to CGSI. Authors, or their heirs, were contacted for permission to share. The response was very positive and currently dozens are available. The thousands of volunteer hours culminate in the following experience. A CGSI member logs into the digital library and performs a search. An item of interest is located, in this case a family history. The item opens and is ready to be explored. The software for these histories does not allow downloading, but a member can flip through pages, navigate with thumbnails of the pages, and use the available options to search the contents of the book, add bookmarks for future reference, and translate text if needed. Future plans include adding over 1,000 issues of fraternal organization magazines from the 1890s through the 1940s, all part of our goal to be a premier resource for those of Czech, Slovak, German Bohemian, and Rusin heritage as they pursued their genealogical interests.